let's talk about sagging. More to the point, let's talk about the Deauville tote and if it sags. My channel I'm Andre. Today's video is a requested video and it has been requested by Linda Tran and she would like me to fill my Deauville tote with certain items to, to see if the bag actually sags and I think these videos are very important because at the end of the day this is how I be became and kind of got into YouTube by you know reviews when I wanted to see reviews on Chanel bags and kind of did my whole book research on Chanel bags so I think if somebody requests a video to do a certain thing with regards to a bag it's very important and I try and get these requested videos up as much as possible I have got a list of um, tag videos to do and in fact I want to do my own tag as well that I've kind of thought up so I want to get that out as well but to me this is one of the most important videos I know I've been uploading videos on cooking because that's kind of another passion of mine that I like and um, I do a I've done a couple of videos on dementia as well but um, my priority is if somebody requests a video um, I like to get them up straight away and I know I've got a request on how to tie the Louis Vuitton scarves as well and I'm well aware of that and I will be getting that up shortly as well. So we're talking about the Deauville tote. So Linda would like to know how the bag would handle a, a laptop, a lunchbox, um, magazines and paperwork. I've added a lot more things in the bag. And I'm also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of that, all the things that I have in the Deauville tote and I'm going to put them in the Neverfull as well just to see the difference because I know um, that's a comparison that's kind of appreciated when the two bags are compared. I have done a review on both the Neverfull and the Deauville tote which I will link below. I've also done an unboxing on the Deauville tote as well. At the moment, my Deauville tote is extremely heavy. Oh, it's really, really heavy just now and I wouldn't recommend you carry it. So let's talk about lunch. So first of all, let's see what we have in here. So um, lunch, a bottle of wine. No, I'm kidding. I've just, you know, I'm being stupid. Right. I'm not really. Anyway, that aside, bottle of wine aside, this is what the bags look looks like. So as you can see, I mean it's really heavy just now, but as you can see, there's barely any sagging on the bag. So that's what it looks like on the side, and that's what it looks like there. And trust me, this bag at the moment is extremely heavy. So there you go. That's what it looks like. The bag hardly any sagging at all with a lot of things in the bag and I'll show you exactly that is oh, that is heavy so I'll show you exactly what's in this bag just now and I'm just gonna tilt you down just for a wee second there we go is it gonna tilt there we go so here we'll just move that away that's my Book. right so here we go that's what's in the bag just now so we have a full size I'll show you the bag and then I'll lift the camera up and I'll pull everything out so here we have the laptop she wanted to see if the laptop would fit so this is a 15 centimeter laptop it's 15 by 10 I've got a couple of books in there. I've got a can of Coca-Cola. I've got the small Louis Vuitton makeup bag, a lunch box. Um, in here I have a purse, 
what else have I got? What's that? My Louis Vuitton agenda, um, a mini pochette, uh, and a pen. So a lot of things in this bag, and it does make it extremely, extremely heavy. And I doubt very much you would be carrying that amount of things. Really, to carry, I mean, it is heavy, but I don't feel as if that's going to... As heavy as it is, I don't feel it's going to damage the, the bag. So here's the laptop. This is my husband's laptop. It's a heavy laptop. It's quite an old laptop. So there you go. That's the laptop just there. So that's a big laptop. And this laptop is heavy in itself. So there you go. That's a heavy laptop. I've also got a lunchbox just there. I've got a brolly. I've got sunglasses, a book, another book, um, the makeup bag, a can of coke, my keys, my mini pochette, a pen, the Louis Vuitton agenda and my purse. And this is what the bag looks like. So it doesn't look much different to when the bag is full. So does it sag? Not really. Not for the amount of stuff that was in there. There we go. I've even got Millie in here. So I've got Millie here. I could put her in the bag as well if you like. But no, I'm not going to do that because my mummy would be quite upset if I put her in a handbag. So that's what the Doville tote looks like. I'll put all that into the Neverfull and we can see if the Neverfull sags. So we'll start off with the big heavy laptop and trust me, this is heavy. And it's that's actually, I'll put, tilt this down again and you can see how that works. So that's actually quite tight at the bottom here. I don't think it is it actually slight it doesn't actually but it is it is so that's the laptop in there and the book and the cosmetic bag the Sarah wallet sunglasses let's see if we can put something on this side the Louis Vuitton agenda, the mini pochette, the lunchbox, and we're, str we're now struggling for space, which we weren't struggling. And there we go. A can of Coke, an umbrella, put it down there. The six keys holder and the other book I'm going to fit this other book in there I don't know maybe upright like so and if you remember at the beginning I also had that bottle of wine which you couldn't see and you could hide it quite nicely here we go in the um, how are we doing here in the Doville tote which you can't no! my goodness me it is a ton ton weight so let's see if this is gonna sag oh no so whilst i was filming that my um holder for my ipad actually snapped so i now have if only you can see my son holding holding my ipad for me oh gosh the things we do for youtube so like i was saying this is the bag here and of course the when i put everything in the doville tote it actually held it a lot better and um so there's a lot more space i'll take that out because really you know seriously um so i'll take take that out so as you can see the doville tote had a lot more so let's see if this sags and even at that, you know, a lot of people say they need to carry the um, 
bag organizers to stop the bag sagging i don't see the bag the bottom of this bag falling and it is extremely heavy at the moment and you've seen the amount of things i've put in the bag so to summarize does the Doville tote sag with a laptop with magazines books lunch boxes makeup bags and so many things and although it's a soft bag a very soft bag when you touch it like so it doesn't actually sag so that's how well made the how the piping and all this around the bag is it shows how well made it is because it's not actually allowing the bottom of the bag to fall like so and the same with the Neverfull it didn't sag it doesn't actually sag when you put that amount of things on it so Linda I hope this has answered your question it's a very I've obviously I've reviewed the bags both these bags thoroughly which I've said I will link below so this was a quick video to show if the Doville tote sags so thank you very much for watching remember if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see a lot more reviews and a lot more on my channel because my channel is a live channel remember to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful a thumbs up is always very much appreciated and i'll catch you next time bye